Hey guys, it's Rob J here and I'm bringing you a quick tip um, on how to feed ants that are still based in a test tube. So I've got myself a humble pipette here. I bought a thousand of these for a couple of quid from China um, so I can use them for whatever I like now. So what you're going to need is a pipette, um, some sort of craft Stanley knife, a kitchen knife, anything along them lines. Okay, and simply what we're going to do is we're going to cut right there. We're just going to cut the uh, tip off. Okay, so I'll try to do this on camera. Okay, so what you see now is I've just cut the tip off. Okay, now depending on the size of test tube, how far you want it to go in. So I want it about there, so I'll cut that, and the cotton wool will push that now. So what I'm left with is this, okay, hollow piece here, and that much. So with the cotton wool, we know it's going to push that far up to them, and that's what I want. Okay, get me cutting out of the way, put your knife away, right, then you can use this for pretty much anything. I've used it for apple, chicken. Um, even egg yolk today a sim for the sake of the video I'm going to use a simple protein jelly that's uh, okay for ants so oof, uh, well they had strawberry yesterday so we're going to do honey and this is where the neatness of this little tip comes in so you can just cut a piece of jelly cleanly out no problem whatsoever. You can egg yolk, you can jab this in and just essentially cut a ring out. It's like um, one of them uh, cake cutters. So yeah, I've got my jelly in there now. And as you see, if it's not further enough back that it will touch the edges of the test tube, just give it a tap. So that's not going to touch anything now. So when it goes in, it'll be sat in like this, and uh, the ants, or quite, even the big ants will be able to get into that. But it means that I'm, nothing's ever touching the actual test tube. I can take that out, I can reuse it, or I can just bin it and start again with a new one. And then your cotton wool actually does half the job for you. It pushes it in the last step of the way. As you see, even my queen's moving forwards, she's not sure what to make of it, but she is used to this every single day she gets a pipette down the chamber. And I see the worker eating from it regularly, which is why I kept it, kept up and doing it. Um, so yeah, that's my quick tip, hope you found it helpful, thanks a lot guys.